Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. For today's tutorial, I will show you how to customize an apron using your Cricut or Silhouette. For this project, you'll just need an apron and some iron-on or heat transfer vinyl. This is also called HTV for short. I found the design for today's project right in the images section of Design Space. I'll include the image number in the description below so you can find it easily. When you are using HTV, you always have to remember to click this little button here, Mirror, so you don't end up with a backwards final product. Unlike vinyl, you'll be flipping the whole thing over, so you need to cut it out mirrored. For this project, I'll be using Cricut's Everyday Iron-On Vinyl in black, and to start out, I'll just cut out a piece a little bit larger than my design. If you haven't used HTV before, there are two different sides. The shiny side is the carrier sheet, kind of like transfer tape, and the more matte side is the actual vinyl. I'll put it down on a green mat and make sure that I have the shiny side down on the mat. Use a brayer to make sure it's stuck down nice and smoothly to the mat. Now I'll pop it into my Maker 3. You can use a Cricut or Silhouette for this step. Next, I can use my weeder tool to pull off the background. I'll just flip the mat over and peel the mat away from the HTV to get it off. This design is ready to go. Now let's get the apron ready. Put down either a heat mat or a towel. The first thing I need to do is take a lint roller and remove any loose fibers where the HTV will go. Next, I need to prep the apron by giving it a quick five second press with my heat press. Now I can place the design into position. That looks good. So now I can stick it on using my Easy Press 2. For a cotton poly blend like this, I need to set my heat press to 315 degrees for 30 seconds. If you aren't sure what setting you should be using for a specific material, just go onto the Cricut website and refer to their heat guide for recommendations. Flip it over and do the back for an extra 15 seconds. I just need to wait a minute and make sure it's cool to the touch, and then I can pull off the carrier sheet. This apron is done and ready for the kitchen. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.